Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And then as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 232 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Russia. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your car. This fight gets underway, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I wanna see how this plays out. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Just out of range with that left hook. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. 
He is all about that left kick to the body. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Nice loop and punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Straight counter, good by Luke. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Nice kick. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Nice head kick. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Punch over the top. And they separate. Single collar tie now. Right punches there. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Right oh, thought he might have had that head kick, but just out of range. Oh, a single collar tie there. advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Got a single collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Straight right hand now just misses. Great punch. Back and forth we go here. Oh, another strike lands to the liver here. He buckled him with that exact shot earlier in the fight, and he feels like he can still target that area to great effect. 20 seconds left. Out of range with that one. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike finally. Big knee lands there. And now a knee. Man, these guys are flowing back and forth. Oh, big left hook there. Effective punch.
punch there by Lee. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Just out of range with that strike. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, wow, oh! in the fight. What a punch. He lands the head kick. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. And he connects with the punch there. It's going to be a short night if you take many of those head kicks. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, uppercut counter. That'll leave a mark. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch, Lance. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. And both guys really throwing with authority. Head kick lands. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And there comes the separation now. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Pretty good right hand. Just out of range with that right hook. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. You don't know when that leg kicks coming. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Oh, yeah, right hand. Ten seconds to go. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice strike. Back and forth we go. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight 
with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Nice head kick. That's a big strike right there. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Big elbow. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Able to check that kick as well. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination of top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh, found the home for that left hand. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Straight punch lands. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. He gets to the spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. So another jab for him there again. We'll keep talking about this reach advantage, but he is certainly making good use of it in this matchup. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. There's no give on that leg kick. Right hand on point. Massive knee to the body lane. Boy, Ty Club. Nice punch by Lee. Big leg kick land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Spinning back fist. Oh, right punch followed by a left there by Lee. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, what a punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish on because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. She's getting lit up right now, John. Left hook, right hand. And he comes through with a big knee. The Superman punch. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Blocks the shot. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books.
head. And we need you to move more. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. That one snuck in. Nice strike. It's a good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice one, two there. Superman punch. Well placed kick there by Lee. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Real quick leg kicks. Good punch, Lance. Ooh, blocks the shot. Lee's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Looping left hand misses the target. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Single collar tie now. Left hand punch from the clinch. Oh, nice punch oh, there. Oh, he might be out. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go take oh. that finish down now. He didn't like that left hand. Back to the feet. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Getting tighter. And there it is! such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop for this contest. At two minutes, nine seconds of round number four. For the winner, by submission, Ruth the Dragon Lee! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and... He did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He